Salut Year 8 et bienvenue au corps pour aujourd'hui. Right guys, today we're starting the final part of Year 8, which is quite a short but really important pre-GCC module. So what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at some of the key topics in GCSE language that you'll be studying at the end of Year 9 and into Year 10. Um, we're going to look at it now, so when in a year's time you do this again, you'll already have the GCC foundations and you know the language. And then when we do it again, we can do it in more depth. We can revise it because it's such an important module. We did it with year nine this year and it's worked really, really well. So that's what this little module is all about. It's about eight lessons. What we're learning about, I've put on the screen here, we're going to talk today about people's personalities. So we'll be talking about your personality, your strengths, your weaknesses, if you've got any, I don't. Then you're going to talk about who you get on with, who you get on with in your family and why. Then we're going to talk about something you don't really know a lot about, I'm afraid, fashion and clothing, but don't worry, I'll help you out. So this is what this little module is all about and it will really help you out. Even though it's brand new, there's a lot of the language that we reuse that you need to know, which is what our post-it note challenge is all about. Let's make a start. Alors, Year 8, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. S'il vous plaît, mes petits, il faut copier la date pour moi dans vos cahiers, ou plutôt inventer la date. Copier le titre du genre, quelles sont tes qualités, qui veut dire en anglais, what are your qualities. Et ici, vous avez le contrôle de post-it. Comment dire en anglais, qu'est-ce que c'est, je suis, il est, elle est. Et en français, comme on dit, very, quite a bit. Alors, put me on pause, guys. Copy the data inside in your book. Make sure you do your contrôle de post-it. When you want the answers, restart the video, and I'll go through what you've got. Hello, mes petits. If you're listening to me now, you're ready for our answers. So, today, what we're going to do is we'll be talking about your personality and others' personalities as well. So, what are you like? What are your good points? What are your bad points? We'll be talking about that and we're going to talk a very little bit about hobbies and what to do in this module to see if you can do it. We'll see what you know already. I'm going to talk about the grammar that comes in when you're using these adjectives. Then we'll learn some language, we'll play some games and we'll finish with a little test. You will have to listen to me describing people and tell me who I'm talking about. So all of that is coming for you today. It's a lot of new language, but like always in French, we're building on what you already know. So let's have a look at your contrôle de post-it. You should have all six of these. Let's have a look. Donc, numéro un, je suis, c'est comment dire, I am. C'est très important aujourd'hui. You're going to be describing yourselves and others. So you need to know all of these. If je suis is I am, it comes from our verb être, to be. You've got to know how to change it, which is part of your homework. So, il est. Is he is, Ellie is she is. So when we're describing other people, we're going to need these. Very, quite a bit. These are called intensifiers. So when you're describing yourself, use these. The examiner loves them. Very is très, quite is assez, and then a bit is un peu. Voilà, All right, guys. So you should have got six out of six of these. Let's get started. I want to test what you know. Before when we've done this, we've matched French to English, which is fine. But today, it's a bit more of a challenge. Je vais expliquer en français. Alors, mes petits, donc maintenant, il faut trouver les pairs entre les antonymes. Alors, qu'est-ce que c'est un antonyme? Alors, un antonyme, c'est le mot opposé. Par exemple, l'antonyme de grande, c'est petit. L'antonyme de noir, c'est blanc. Les antonymes sont les mots opposés. Et ici, dans la boîte bleue, j'ai le vocabulaire du genre. Et dans la boîte orange, j'ai des autres mots qu'on va apprendre aujourd'hui. Donc, pensez des antonymes. Donc, mes qualités veut dire en anglais « my qualities »,« my good points ». Donc, c'est quoi le mot différent Le mot opposé des qualités, c'est « c'est ». Mes défauts, my defaults, the things wrong with me. Donc, pensez d'antonyme. J'ai beaucoup de. If beaucoup de means lots of, how are you going to say I don't have lots of or few of or something like that? Alors, donc, il faut chercher les antonymes et trouver la paire. C'est difficile aujourd'hui. Donc, je veux six. Six um, antonymes, c'est bien. Dus, ça veut dire les deux, donc dus, ça sera parfait. Et vous avez une défi additionnel ici, c'est traduit. I have lots of qualities, 
I am not at all selfish. You will need to use the language you've matched up to see what to do. See if you can get that, guys. Six is the target, and obviously you can't get 12. 11. Let's say 10 will be a good score to aim for. Look at that. Beautifully done. Allow me, petit. Put me on pause. Match them up when you're ready for the answers. I commence the video. 3, 2, 1. On y va. Allo mi piti, right guys, how did you get on? It's so much more compliqué finding antonyms than it is matching to the English, but I'm sure you've done well. Remember, six is our target. Six, c'est le cible aujourd'hui, et nous avons dit que dix, ce sera génial aujourd'hui. Voilà, alors donc, on y va. Tu veux la paire? On a fait le premier ensemble. Mes qualités veut dire my qualities or my good points. Donc, l'antonyme, c'était C. Mes défauts. Alors, j'ai beaucoup de veut dire I have lots of. So, what's the opposite of having lots of? Not having many. Donc, c'est J. J'ai peu de. So, j'ai beaucoup d'amis. I've got lots of friends. Um, Jane would say, j'ai peu d'amis. I've got few friends or well, not many friends. Alors, your mom counts as a friend, Jane. Alors, numéro 3. Je suis veut dire I am. Donc, l'opposé, c'est des. Je ne suis pas. Si je suis, is I am. Je ne suis pas. I am not. Facile. Alors, numéro 4. Egoist. You have to be good at English to write this one out. So, your ego is what you think about yourself. Egoist veut dire en français. Ah, veut dire en anglais. Selfish. Si on est égoïste. Donc, selfish, c'est quoi le mot opposé de égoïste? C'est généreux ou généreuse. So, if you're selfish, you just think about yourself. If you're generous, you're doing something for someone else. Alors, numéro 5. Optimiste veut dire en anglais optimistic. If you're optimistic, you always see like the bright side of things. You're always positive. Donc, l'antonyme, c'est B. Pessimiste. Optimiste always sees the bright side. A pessimist always sees the bad thing about things. Optimiste et pessimiste, same words in English. Use them in your English. Your English teacher will love it. Alors, numéro 6. Branché, branché, c'est un synonyme pour le mot cool. Donc, branché, l'opposé, c'est pas cool. Branché means cool, so it matches to Jane Pine. I mean, pas cool, i. Alors, numéro 7, casse-pied. Si quelqu'un est casse-pied, ça veut dire annoying. Donc, trouver la paire, c'est H, fascinant. So, the opposite of being annoying is being fascinating. You're interested by them. Someone annoys you, you're not interested. Caspier literally means breaking your feet. And it's like, I always imagine someone like stepping on your feet would be an incredibly annoying thing to do. And that's the word for it. Alors, numéro 8. Poli veut dire polite en anglais. Donc, l'antonyme, c'est E, impoli. Poli, impoli. All right, guys. This is really tough. I told you I was looking for six. If you've not quite got six, you're still doing well. Not taught you any of this language. Free to go. Sociable. If you're sociable, you go out, you chat to loads of people, you're, you're like, yeah, you're chatty, you get on with everyone. Donc, l'opposé, c'est timide. Voilà. Sociable, you're sociable. Timide veut dire shy. If you're timid, you're shy or scared of people. Et il y a deux qui restent. Vraiment, c'est comment dire really, donc l'opposé, c'est F, pas du tout. So really, not at all. Et donc, le dernier, mon ou ma meilleure amie veut dire my best friend. One for masculine, one for feminine. So what's the opposite of your best friend? C'est G, mon ennemi. Voilà. Right guys, I wanted six. Add up how many you've got. You can get some bonus marks if you use this to do our extra challenge. I have lots of qualities. I'm not at all selfish. C'est, j'ai beaucoup de qualité. Je ne suis pas de tout égoïste. Voilà, excellent effort if you got that. That was a really tough extra challenge today. Very impressed. Give yourself two marks. Right, guys, add up your grand total. I was after six today. If you've got six, you've done really, really well. You're warmed up. You've looked at this language. I now want to talk about the grammar and go through some key points you've got to know for GCSE. Allo mes petits, right guys, three absolutely crucial key questions today. These three key questions you'll need to use, like the answers to them, every single time you ever speak French. I can't think of a sentence 
that you wouldn't have these rules in it. So they are so important. We're going to look at verbs and we're going to look at adjectives. This is a GCC must know people. Make sure you can answer these questions before I go through them. Why don't you put me on pause? See if you can answer them already. If you can, brilliant. Still watch the next slides. If you can't pay close attention, the next slides are crucial for your French. Allons mes petits, donc le premier, what happens to the verb when we talk about others? Let's look at the English. This is our verb of the day, to be. So, I am tall, obviously true, everyone knows that. He am tall, she am tall, we am tall. What's, what's wrong with that? I'm using the verb. I don't say I be tall, I am tall, he am tall, she am tall. What's wrong with it? Our verb doesn't make sense. We don't say he am, we say he is. She am, she is, we am, we are. Our verb, ch 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 it changes people the verb changes now it's exactly the same in french our verb changes now we've learned before how our verb changes verbs follow a per per pattern we wah, chop off the er and then we add the following letters this is what we've got here e e s e e o n s e z e n t we change our verb ending but that's the regular pattern today's verb is the verb to be être here it is I've just scribbled it out. Here's our verb du genre être, and it's an irregular verb, which means it doesn't follow the pattern. It changes completely, just like it does in English. I am looks nothing like he is. The verb has changed completely, and this is how it changes. Je suis as I am, tu es as you are, il, elle, on, et, he, she, or one is. This is how our verb changes. Part of your homework will be to learn this verb off by heart. You need to know it off by heart. My teachers made me learn it off by heart when I was young, and that's why I know it so well now. Check it out. It goes, si et et somme et sont. Voilà. You need to learn this verb off by heart. The key concept for today, our verb, ch 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 changes. Allo, mi petit. Make sure you can answer question one. If you can't, you're an idiot. Rewind the video and watch what I've just talked about. Questions two and three then. We're talking about adjectives. What is an adjective? It's a describing word. What's different about them in French? Quite a few things. Let's have a look. Allo mi petit. So we know an adjective is a describing word. Mr. Ennis is tall. Mr. Ennis is handsome. Both adjectives for me. What do we usually do to them then? So in French, there's a pattern that happens to our adjective. If it's feminine, we add a letter. If it's plural, we add a letter. And therefore, if it's feminine and plural, we have to add two letters. So if it's feminine, we usually add an E. And if it's plural, we usually add an S. So if it's feminine and plural, you have to add an E because it's feminine and an S because it's plural. Shown here with the word, uh, le mot du genre, l'adjectif du genre, grand, which means big or tall. So grand, 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 grand. You say them exactly the same, but look, I've added an E when I'm talking about someone feminine, an S for plural, and then an E S for, for feminine and plural. So do all adjectives do this? No. This is the regular pattern. Yes, yeah? so this happens to most adjectives. But there's some other rules that for GCSE you've got to know. Which are these? If it ends in EUX for masculine in French, so Mr. Ennis is généreux. If you go to feminine, you change it to us. So E uh, changes to us. Mr. Ennis is généreux. Dr. Adebemi est généreuse. Généreux, 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 généreuse. If it already ends in an E, then you don't need to change it and add an extra E. And then some are just crazy, like rigolo means funny. It changes to rigolo for feminine. These are some irregular patterns that you've got to know. Allo, mi petit. See if you can answer these three key questions. If you can, you are ready to advance. If you can't, just watch again the last few slides. And make sure you're ready for it. That's what this lockdown is so good for. Obviously, it's terrible. But the good thing for it is it will develop you and develop your independent skills and develop your learning skills. If you're not sure of any of these, watch the video again, go back and then come back to these questions until you've mastered it. If you're happy with it, let's move on to learning some of our new language. Alors, mes petits, maintenant, on a beaucoup de vocabulaire à apprendre. Maintenant, il faut écouter moi et il faut répéter après moi tout le monde, s'il vous plaît. Can you just tell your mom what's going on so she doesn't think you're going mad just shouting away in your room? <laughs> Allez, mes petits, donc, on y va. Quelles sont tes qualités? Quelles sont tes qualités? Quelles, quelles sont tes qualités? 
je suis, je suis, je ne suis pas, je ne suis pas, je suis, je ne suis pas, je ne suis pas, je ne suis pas, total, total, totalement, total, total, totalement, vraiment, 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 très, très, assez, assez, très, assez, un peu, un peu, un peu, très, assez, un peu, pas, pas, pas du tout, pas, pas, pas du tout, branché, branché, bran, bran, branché, je vais vous dire, c'est le next one, amusant, amusant, drôle, 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 rigo, rigo, rigolo, rigo, rigo, rigolote, rigolo, rigolote, rigolo, rigolote, drôle, 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 amusant, amusant, drôle, rigolo, amusant, 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 drôle, drôle, rigolo, rigolote, rigolo, rigolote, Charmant, charmant, char, char, charmant, optimiste, optimiste, opti, opti, optimiste, poli, poli, curieux, curieuse, curieux, curieuse, curieux, curieuse, curieux, curieuse, curieux, curieuse, passion, passion, Passe, passe, passion. Sympa. Sympa. Sympa, sympa, Et voilà, maintenant, c'est les défautes. Voilà, donc, quelles sont tes défautes Quelles sont tes défautes Quelles sont tes défautes Je suis, je suis, je ne suis pas. Tout à tout à totalement. Vraiment, vraiment, très assez un peu, très assez un peu, pas du, pas du, pas du, tu. pas du, pas du, pas du, tu. je suis, je suis, arro, arro, arrogant, arro, arro, arrogant, casse, casse, casse pied, casse, casse, casse pied, ego, ego, égoïste, Ego, ego, égoïste. Pessi, pessi, pessimiste. Pessi, pessi, pessimiste. Égoïste, pessimiste. Égoïste, pessimiste. Casse, casse, casse pied. Casse, casse, casse pied. Arro, 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 arro. Pénible. Pénible. Pé, pé, pénible. Pessi, pessi, pessimiste. Aigu, aigu, aiguïste. Qu'est-ce, qu'est-ce, qu'est-ce pied? Aho, 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 gon. Alors, we've said our qualities, and now we want to say what we like doing. For this, we've got our verbs that you can change. Remember, our verbs just changes. But I've got a nice GCSE phrase for you to help you out. So, je passe des heures à means I spend my time. It literally says, I pass some hours at, and then you just put your infinitive, so like being, doing, you need the infinitive. So, key phrase, après moi tout le monde, je passe des heures à. Je passe des heures à. À. Je passe des heures à. Je passe des heures à. À. Je passe des heures à. Surfer en ligne. Surfer, surfer en ligne. Faire du sport. Faire du sport. Je passe des heures à faire du sport. Regarder des films. Regarder des films. Je passe des heures à regarder des films. Écouter de la musique. Écouter de la musique, je passe des heures à 
écouter de la musique, jouer aux jeux vidéo, aux jeux vidéo, jouer aux jeux vidéo, je passe des heures à jouer aux jeux vidéo, bavarder, sorry, on ne peut pas bavarder, parler, parler, parler avec mes copains, parler avec mes copains, parler avec mes copains, je passe des heures à parler avec mes copains. Alors mes petits, sais-tu le vocabulaire pour aujourd'hui Vous savez ce qu'il faut faire On va faire les sables vont Donc vous avez 36 secondes. <coughs> Il faut dire anglais, puis choisir le français, et puis anglais, français, aussi rapide que possible. Par exemple, what your qualities, quelles sont tes qualités, what your defaults, uh, quelles sont tes défauts, I'm a bit, je suis un peu, I'm too, je suis trop, I'm not too, je suis pas de tout. Voilà, see how that's done, guys. That's what you need to know. You'll have 36 seconds. So what I want you to do, put me on pause, prepare yourself. When you're ready, restart the video. I'll count you down and the blue will start disappearing. So pause me now, préparez-vous, on y va. Allo mes petits, if you're hearing me now, you should be ready for the countdown. You have 36 seconds. Bon courage, on commence en 3, 2, 1, allez C'est rapide, first column's almost gone. Et soyez rapide mes petits, environ 15 secondes. Et 10. Et 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Et c'est fini tout le monde. Well, all right, guys, did you get to the end? Bon effort. This was tough. Let's up that difficulty a little bit more. Et voilà, mes petits. Maintenant, c'est la même activité. Mais j'ai pris les lettres clés. Donc, cette fois, il faut dire l'anglais. What are your qualities? Il faut choisir la bonne réponse. Et il faut compléter la phrase. Quelles sont tes qualités? What are your defects? Quelles sont tes défauts? Donc, il faut compléter la phrase aussi. Même chose qu'avant. Put me on pause now. When you're ready, restart the video. I'll count you down. I'll start making them disappear. Prepare yourselves, mes petits. Donc, 30 secondes. Bon courage. On y va. Préparez-vous. Allo, mes petits. If you've restarted me, you're ready to have a go. Be quick. Vous avez 36 secondes. On commence en 3, 2, 1. Allez! And first column's gone, allez, allez. Et 10 secondes. Et 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Et c'est fini, tout le monde. Voilà, bon effort, guys. Excellent effort if you got to the end of this. This is our key vocabulary today. You worked really hard on it. Let's see what you can do. Allo mi petit, let's put you to the test with our final activity. Allo mi petit, you have a version of this on your sheet, but you don't need to use it. You can just write one, two, three, four. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire? Je vais expliquer en français. Donc, ici, on a 9%. On a Paul, uh, Perrine, Max, etc. Et ici, vous avez une grille. Je vais décrire quelqu'un. Je vais décrire Paul, une Perrine, une Max. Mais je vais dire leur qualité ici, dans la première boîte, et leur défaut. Finalement, je vais dire ce qu'ils aiment faire pour passer les heures. Il faut écouter moi. Il faut écrire le nombre de personnes que je décris. Ici, dans la boîte, mes petits. If you're not sure, you can pause me to think about it and to look through the pictures. You can even rewind it and listen again if you want, but you've got to write the correct person. Alors donc, ça c'est ce qu'il faut faire. Bon courage. 
Et je vais commencer avec par son une. Alors, par son une dit. Alors, je dirais que mes qualités sont. Je suis très branché et aussi je suis assez drôle. Mais je ne suis pas parfait. Je dirais que je suis un peu arrogant et je peux être caspillé aussi de temps en temps. Je passe des heures à surfer en ligne et aussi je passe des heures à écouter de la musique. Alors, who is that guys? Write their name in person. Une. If you didn't get them, just pause it, rewind it and listen again. Alors, person numéro 2. Dit. Alors, je dirais que je suis poli et aussi je suis très charmant. Mais, mes défauts, alors, de temps en temps, je suis égoïste et certains disent que je peux être caspillé. Pendant mes temps libres, je passe des heures à surfer en ligne. Et j'adore écouter de la musique. Alors, passons toi, dis. Moi, je dirais que je suis très poli et aussi mes amis pensent que je suis rigolo. Mais, de temps en temps, je suis égoïste et je suis casse aussi. Pendant les temps libres, je passe des heures à écouter de la musique. Aussi, je passe beaucoup des heures à regarder les films. Alright, who was it? Put their name in if you didn't get it. Rewind and listen again. We're now to person numéro 4. Qui dit? Alors, mes qualités, je dirais que je suis petit et tout le monde pense que je suis très charmant. Mais... Je ne suis pas parfaite. Je peux être arrogant et certains disent que je suis vraiment caspillé, surtout ma soeur. Pendant mes temps libres, j'adore parler avec mes copines et j'aime regarder les films aussi. Et finalement, passant numéro 5. So, cross off the ones you've got already. I'm not going to reread someone that should help you out. The third one is a lot tougher, so I'm going to mix up the order a bit. Listen carefully. Person numéro 5 dit. Alors, l'un de mes défauts est que je peux être pessimiste souvent. Aussi, certains pensent que je suis pénible, mais je ne suis pas d'accord. J'ai beaucoup de qualités. Je suis optimiste sans doute et je suis très curieux. Pendant mes temps libres, J'adore faire du sport, mais je passe beaucoup de temps à ma maison aussi parce que j'adore jouer aux jeux vidéo. Alors, right guys, if you didn't get that person, rewind me. Listen again, it's all down to you and your learning. If you're happy with your answers, I'm going to go through les réponses maintenant. Alors, person 1 était... C'était Paul. Give yourself a tick if you got Paul. Person 2 était Max. Person 3 était Nicolas. Person 4 était Sophie et finalement person 5 était Thierry. Voilà, right guys, give yourself a mark out of 5 for this. Bonne for mes petits. Et voilà, right guys, so today our objective was to describe our personalities and our hobbies. See if you can answer these questions. If you're happy with it, keep watching for our homework today. Alors mes petits, so homework is still really important in lockdown and I was really disappointed at If the scores for Memorize, some people keeping strong, going on Memorize over the holidays. Others, not, nothing, no Memorize. Guys, just because you're at home doesn't mean you stop your learning. It's the opposite. You have to be more independent. You have to take more on yourself. So I expect a big pickup. This is what we've done. I've set you a new room for, for Memorize. You need to go on that and spend at least 20 minutes learning today's vocabulary. To test you on it, I've got this sheet here. You need to, like, no help, put your sheets away. Once you've been on Memorize, have a look at this and see if you can write in the English. Fill this up with the English. If you get to a word you don't know, you couldn't work out what curious curious means, 
write it down and stick it up somewhere and make a list of words you don't know to help you remember them. You've also got a verb to be that I told you how to learn off by heart. Here it is. Learn it, complete it, see what you can do. That's part one. Part two then, you've got some people, someone talking about my bonds, like my group of mates or my gang. There's five friends, lots of friends there. So Hugo, Sarah, Noah, Elia. So what you need to do is read through and do the activities. So who can be a bit annoying? Who they say can be a bit annoying? Who speaks Spanish? Write their names in here. And then you've got another translation activity here. Guys, all of this for next lesson, please, where you will have a vocab test to start you off. Any questions, please email. Guys, bon effort aujourd'hui. Hope you're all safe and well and your families are safe. Looking forward to seeing you again, even if it's not for a while. Alors, au revoir tout le monde.